Hi, good afternoon. And now we will be creating a simple mobile forecast application for mobile. What? What did I say? Simple weather forecast application for mobile. Okay, that's it. I think I got a good grammar for that. So, first of all, in creating a mobile app, I'm using a high I'm doing a hybrid mobile development using an Ionic framework. Mm -hmm. Oh no, Ionic framework. So this is the the official the official sites for Ionic framework and the documentation. So first of all, in, in installation, um, I just. I, th I think there's no need for me to discuss the basic use of Ionic. Let's just go for the real application development. You need to install NAD. After NAD, you need to do this. Install Ionic Cordova. And then for starting a new project, this this one. If you want to create a blank or with side menu, with, with a built-in or predefined or scaffold code, you can do it like inside menu tabs and etc but for me i want to start from scratch so here directory cd weather up all right and to start our ionic project let's type ionic serve okay and then let's wait for a couple of seconds for our ionic project to start in the browser yeah. start in the USA Okay, so our application just start. This is this is the face of a new installed Ionic project. Let's open the developers mode or just press F12. And then okay. So for this I created a provider. Okay, let's close this for a while. I created a provider weather weather yes inside the weather folder. So for this, I want to create, declare, add token, uh, type of string, the URL, type of string also. So for this, this token is equal to, so this is the API that we will be using, um, API from the website Wonder Wonderground, this is my API. You can copy it if you want. You can copy it if you want, but if you want to create your own, then feel free to create your own. So since I'm using a proxy API plus this token. Hmm. create a new class I mean a new method name get weather and return this get this URL that map let's do a promise res is equal to res and JSON Okay, and let's declare the weather flow. 
So for this, we need to call ion ion view dead load. So if you want to know more about what is ion view dead load, you can search about the ionic framework life cycle hooks. <coughs> Sorry for that, I'm, because I was eating peanut right now. Um, to know more about ion ion view dead load, um, you can search about ionic life cycle because we also have a ion view did enter or something like that then yeah that's it this weather proof that get weather that subscribe and then i want to create a new variable with any type and then weather is equal to this weather or the weather okay let me try this one first let's wait for a couple of seconds let's let me eat a minute first mm, let's see if there's an error if there's not then let's continue We have an error. Okay. Mm. Let's refresh again. I mean, not refresh, but to save. So here, here we have a response. So let me copy you. Display location in full.
So we have here Quezon City. Mm. I'm sorry for eating while doing this. <laughs> just can really feel that kind of feel that I really want to eat. Alright, alright. Oh, you see me drinking my father when we clean the bell once more. Let me. Color. I'm sure I've been all of cake and loved me. Once more. What did I all thinking of? Let's save it and wait for a moment from this moment. Quezon City. Mm. Mm. So, let me close this for a while and then display the complete place and I also want to display some logo Microphone. Weather. That weather. X center. All right. So in part 2 we will be putting like what it feels like, the wind and etc, the degrees Celsius and then I will be putting the forecast here below and in the upper part you can search for the city of inside the Philippines and let's continue in part 2, thank you.